Good evening, everybody. This is Three Moons, and welcome to this installment of Three Moons Gaming, where we build things in Minecraft. Tonight, we're going to be working on a castle that we've been working on for a while. We're gonna, only going to do a little bit on it, uh, maybe a level, maybe not even quite a level. We'll determine that as time goes by this evening. Just want to let you know that this particular version of this game is going to be played, of course, in the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, which is the compatible version with Xbox Minecraft, so that uh, we can play it cross-platform. Normally, I only play in the PC version, uh, which is the Java version, but this time we're going to play in the Windows 10 version. And there's a reason behind why we're playing in the Windows 10 version. Um, is because I, did, I do have this same world running on an Xbox machine that I don't use very often. Um, but this is where the fun begins. Um, I'm also going to be using a, a schematic program that gives me the, the patterns and the plans that I'm using to build this particular castle. It is right at a hundred levels tall, or a hundred block tall, and I'm at like level 21 or 20 something on it. And every so often I have to stop working on the actual castle itself and go back to working on the actual plan for the building. Because what happens is the plans are originally drawn up in gray brick, and the gray brick just does not look really pretty to me. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the gray brick into, as you can see right here, into better structured looking block where it looks a lot better. Start to, start to look better and better and better. And yes, if you've noticed, I have multiple screens so just bear with me as I count my floors here and get get myself settled into what what level I'm on. I have to go all the way to the ground and count up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I'm working on level 22. So that means I gotta go over to the to the schematic program. And I've got to switch this out to or switch this down to level 22. There we go. And because there's so much work involved with what we're doing, we now you would never memorize these levels. There's a lot of intricate stuff that goes into this. A lot of fun building it, and I'm enjoying the hours spent so far. There's been a lot of hours put in on this particular build, so we're gonna start working on this particular build now and see if there's anything we can do to, to get some more done here. Wrong button now. Now let's see here. It's gonna be four then one. In case you notice we are or rather, I am placing. I tried to find someone a long time ago to join in this particular build. This build is huge. I don't know if you've seen it all or if you saw the last installment of this. But this building is, is going to be pretty tall. Right over here is where the ceiling of this building ends. Way up here. Once it's done, 
this is the 100th level and that's looking down at it um, as you saw in the schematics just a few moments ago it's going to definitely be a huge building going to definitely be a beautiful building when it's done I think the only way I'll be able to share this is as a world build when I do it I won't be able to share it as a schematic because I don't have any kind of schematic program that will allow me to take this entire thing as one huge plan and release it because the, the schematics that I'm using are written in an older program and nobody uses this particular program anymore and because nobody uses it it's an obsolete program so it's gonna look like I'm copying the same exact layer over and over sometimes but I'm actually I am but I'm not for much longer because once we get up a little bit higher here it'll change and this structure that I'm working on right here will start to shrink in size what's going to happen is this structure right over here as you see is slowly moving into here and by the time it gets to connect to here we'll be looking at a building that um, starts to spiral upwards and inwards and I won't be able to do this it'll be a little bit more of a pain to do some of these things let's see where to, where'd it go probably in here yes my purple block must be purple yes Well, there's that one. You'll notice I'm going around, I'm going to go around the outside, and I'm only going to do these builds here, these parts of the building first. And then I'll come all the way back around to this side and start on this side. Because what I'm doing is following a specific pattern of building this building so that I don't have too many mess ups where I screw up left and right because it costs time and money to sit here and, and straighten this stuff out I know this is not available on a server this is my world my world alone I don't even know how I'm going to wind up releasing this particular build I, and to be honest with you, I don't even know where I found the schematics at, but I found them someplace, and I did not like, and if I ever rebuild it, I'm going to rebuild it in the gray format, which I probably will. I'll rebuild it in the gray format, import it in, and then save it as an MP, MBP file. Or not MBP, but M. Because MBP is what it's in now, and you can't do anything with an MBP file unless you have the Minecraft Building Planner. And if you have the Minecraft Building Planner, then great. You could actually contact me, and I could actually give you a copy of what I have already. And I could also give you a copy of what I've got done for far as coloring and everything and adding some coloring to this because gray just yeah it stands out in the world but when you're looking at gray you don't see all the intricate stuff I mean the castles are supposed to jump out at you like that I mean they're supposed to just go wow and this gray did not go wow at all it was really drab and boring I wanted it to jump out at me.
just messed that all up. What did I, where did I get messed up at? Oh, that's right. <sighs> I think it's wrong, but it looks right. Yeah, it's right, it just looks weird suddenly. Now, that's not even up to the right level, is it? No, it's not as if I stopped somewhere. But that's easy to fix. Go up one more level across the top of this one before we leave this one and go over to the next one. Thinking, I think I did it wrong over here, but right over here, oh, wrong over there. I just did it wrong, so it is on the bottom. Yeah. Why do I feel like? I did not finish one all the way around the outer banks of this thing at some point on 21. I'm going to have to go back down to 21 because that is not right. Imagine building something like this in, in the real world. It would be mind blowing.
Okay. So we are at the right level. Yeah, I'm going over to look at the schematics again real quick. I'm going to drag them over here so you can see what I'm looking at. So you kind of get a feel for the program I was using. This is the original program. And if you could find a way to convert it from this to schematic, It'd be good. That was originally supposed to be done by the original designer, but they never got around to it. They apparently never released another version, and this version here was the final version. And I've reached out to them and reached out to them and reached out to them, and they, they're just not answering. So, And I even tried the uh, PlayStation Network, because I have the designer's PlayStation Network name, and that didn't work either. No responses there. So, would love to come across a, a programmer who could reverse engineer this and release an updated version of it for free for the world like it was originally. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can get started on getting this stuff done here. And what I just did is I just turned transparency on because you see these blocks are not to be put in place these are the ones that are going to be put in place this time around so there's less blocks to actually put in place we're going to start right here and kind of work our way forward because that is a starting point for the center of the building basically now let me take this back over here and zoom back into it I can make sure I'm looking at the right spot and all that good stuff. Okay, there we go. Close that out, and right here's where we are. And this is where it's going to begin. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see if I'm looking. Do I have, yeah, 
good job. And that's gonna come off of here. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in. One, two, three block in right here is going to be the one that's whipped out, of course. So we're going to put this back up there. We're going to put that up there. I'm going to put this right here next to this so I can switch it in between them easier. One, two, three. I didn't change the color on these apparently for some reason. I figured that I felt like they would look just as good looking like that. Seven, we're going to have that. Which should give me that weird corner pattern that I'm looking for on each end. And there's that. up with water two blocks over one two we want to go like this three four I don't like about stairs. It's easy to make. 
make a mistake with them. Now, if you notice, we're already working on the level of the building right now. So, now comes the real challenging part, and that is to get everything right where it belongs. So skip one and go here. We're going to come out with that by four. I guess that went over real well, huh? pretty good I guess above that above all this obsidian okay and I said I won't work on this very long I work on it till I get tired which is what I generally do with this particular build because it is such a large build we don't do a whole lot of work, or rather, I don't do a whole lot of work on it at one particular time. I spend a certain amount of time with it. Coming off of second block. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then pause this for a moment. I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna three, six, nine. Okay, so I was right, nine blocks. Okay, and then we have four blocks of, of the end bricks. Okay, and then five, and then four. because each one of these is like a mirror, a reverse image of the other. We're gonna see slight differences in them. Okay, and there's three, and then nine more. all the way to the end of the wall and then we're gonna I'm going to stop right here for a moment long enough to determine what's going on at the corner of the wall find out if it's gonna be the continuation of Dorite around the corner or if it's gonna change into what it's gonna change into so it's gonna change into red sandstone stairs which I already have smooth sandstone stairs And they are gonna be odd facing each other, so and they're coming off of the one, two, second block, which is gonna be the edge of the build. Right. And then This is the level that I did something really weird. I think it's really going to be considered really weird. Why would you do that? It's probably what's going to be everybody's mind. Why would you do that at that point? And uh, I'm just going to say because I was in a weird mood. Okay, so let me see if I have that in my stack anywhere. No, I do not. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, goodbye. Let's go here, back that all out, and okay. And there's what I want. So let's see, let's drop that, put it right here. There's gonna be a gold block on each and every corner of the building. So I may as well run around here and go right like this and that way. Yeah, it's going to be on each end of the building. May as well make it there now. And it's the only level that has them, so it will let me know when I go back into the game what level I was working on as well, because I may not work much longer.
it's on each side, isn't it? Hmm. No, it's not. It's only been on the one side so far. So maybe it's, uh, maybe the way it was originally set up to be was like this. Pointing toward the center of the building, maybe. Oh, well. Okay, now we're gonna bring it to a screaming halt right here. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna go ahead and save the game and we're gonna call this a, a done deal for the night. Um, but before we go, I wanna show you some of the interesting things about this world that I'm in. This world actually has a lot of things going on in it. I have, of course, some storage minor storage over here that's just sitting down here. There's not a whole lot in these storage cases. So, I mean, these, these chests have, I don't even think that one has anything. That one has some stuff, that one has nothing, and that one has some stuff. That one's gonna have stuff in it. That one's gonna have nothing, okay? And these are nothing really um and then i have this which a lot of people will look at and go what do you mean your furnace fuel goes in there the or input or whatever you're wanting to smelt goes in here and then to get down there and of course we have a as you can see a red beam coming up from the bottom and then we have our up and our down this is going to take us all the way down to bedrock where the fortress is at so if somebody was to rob this place they'd have to literally come in here and come down here and this right here is the where the smelting stuff, fuel and the items come in and then they come out over here and of course Right now, these things have a whole bunch of stuff in them. But eventually, those will all be replaced. And it will go back over here. This huge building over here. And this building here is my main storage.
and I have yet to calculate how much storage space this actually holds. I can tell you that there are these chests are three levels deep. Three levels deep. Each one is is a double chest. So each one is three levels deep. Um, then of course this is the overflow system, which well the stack goes all the way to the ceiling in here and same with this one down here I believe this one goes all the way to the ceiling as well if it doesn't it's easy to add on to that goes all the way to the current ceiling of this this area which as you see there are corner posts which indicate the second level of the building is yet to be built i don't need it yet but it is yet to be built and uh the, these are awesome builds uh, these are the types of things that once i release it i think everybody will like it um i don't know if the storage one has been released yet or not i won't sit here and try to build it a second time that is for sure it took me month to build it and um, this here is another way up to the surface and then of course I had cleared all this out thinking thinking I was going to need it to build that and I wound up not needing it If the schematics are correct and available, I'll release the schematics. Item elevator system to take things up to the top half, which was originally going to be going to the second floor, but now it just goes by, back down to the first floor. It's like a, you run it through and it doesn't filter out correctly. We can sort things a second time through to see if it's going to sort out correctly and stuff. And I'm going to wind up changing the clocking mechanism on it to this one down here. This one down here doesn't make a sound until there's something actually in the dropper. And then it'll make a ticking sound. A tick, 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 tick. Whereas this one over here makes a consistent tick, 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 tick. Why it's hidden over here trying to dampen the noise a little bit but let's go back up to the surface and this right here happens to be when you come up here you're inside the basement of the castle. This is actually the basement. I need to light it up better so that the uh, creatures and things don't spawn because this is eventually going to lead down to the mine which is where we were at. I figure it's a good place to place the, the system is down here so that it actually focuses and as you can see you can see outside here Let's see, that one is closed off. And that goes there. That'll get closed off eventually. And these two, these two here are up and down. If I have to look at them to tell you that one's up. They're mislabeled. And that's down. But other than that, I think we're going to call it a night, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to save and quit. And I want everybody to get some wonderful rest and shut-eye this evening. 
as a reminder, always wash your hands for at least 20 seconds in warm, soapy water. Don't touch your face, your eyes, your ears, your mouth, your nose, unless you have washed your hands very well, especially when coming in from outdoors or visiting other places. Always sneeze or cough into your elbow. And if at all possible, always wear a face mask when you go out and about shopping and things like that. Again, stay safe, and we look forward to showing you this build again and seeing later, uh, later developments as I get it further and further along. Again, Three Moons says have a wonderful night. Goodbye.